Dr. Rajat Matal, a professor of mechanical engineering at Johns Hopkins University, is conducting research comparing two strokes used in Olympic level swimming. We are working on this research that compares the fluid dynamics and the effectiveness of sculling versus deep catch. A simple, tangible result that could come out from this research was, does one stroke, is one stroke better than the other stroke? Very simple answer. Does one stroke outperform the other stroke? Dr. Matal and his team used high resolution images and underwater video to compare these two strokes. A deep catch is as straightforward as it can get. You put your arm in the water, you put it as deep as possible into the water and push it back as hard as you can while keeping your palms as perpendicular to the direction you want to move. It's a stroke that is in some sense most natural to anybody who doesn't know anything about swimming. Sculling uh, is a stroke where you essentially form more like an S-shaped pattern as your arm goes back. So you, you put your arms in water and you have a slightly higher elbow that allows you to essentially bend your elbow down. And then as you bring, the, bring your arm backwards, you essentially form, form an S pattern. So you scull outwards and then inwards and then out of the water. Almost everything that we do in this project is based on what we understand as mechanical engineers. The message is very short and it's very simple is that deep catch is more efficient and more effective uh, than the sculling stroke.